Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss binary adder. Binary adder is an arithmetic micro operations which performs the addition of two binary numbers stored into the register of any length. Let's see an example. So for example, we are having register R1 which contains 4 bits 1 1 0 1. Register R2 which contains 4 bits 0 1 1 1. Now we want to perform the addition of these two numbers. So basically binary as per binary number system we are about aware about the addition how it is performed so we know 1 plus 1 so sum is 0 and carry is 1 similarly when we perform the next group of bits addition so 1 plus 0 so it is 1 plus 1 so it is sum is 0 carry is 1 again we perform the next addition for next group of bits so 1 plus 1 so sum is 1 0 plus 1 so 1 1 so sum 1 carry 1 and furthermore 1 plus 1 so it is 1 0 plus 0 so it is 1 0 and so sum is 0 and carry is 1 so this is how binary addition is performed but in this system we are obvious that over here there will be 0 for every time because while performing the addition the first group of bits will always have 0 the more less b would be having 0 during their addition operation now let's implement this particular addition for 4 bits into a hardware circuit. So a 4 bit binary adder. Now for that we require full adder circuits. Now you are aware what is full adder because you have studied full adder in digital electronics. Full adder is a circuit which performs the addition of group of bits. That is 3 bits can be added. We would be getting sum as output and carry as another output. Okay. So in this case this is the first full adder, second, third, fourth. Now why four full adder we require? Because we want to perform four bit addition. So A0 plus B0 plus C0 because the carry would be there, three bit addition. So initially this carry would be zero. So C0, we would be having two outputs that is sum S0 and the carry generated out of this is propagated to the next full adder that is c1 is propagated to the next full adder where we are having two inputs a1 b1 and we would be getting two outputs sum s1 and carry c2 which again gets propagated to the next full adder and this full adder will be having again two inputs a2 b2 and sum we would be getting as output s2 and carry c3 propagated to the next full adder now this full adder will also have two more inputs so a3 b3 and we would be getting output s3 and the carry c4 now similarly this is a 4 bit binary adder so we can design n bit binary adder also by adding number of full adders so if it is n bit binary adder we require n full adders and the same way we can propagate the carries but let us see the example which we had discussed earlier let us implement it over here in this circuit so over here the initial carry is 0 so over here c0 would be 0 r1 r2 1 1 so a0 would be 1 b0 would be 1 so we would be getting the sum to be 0 and carry to be 1 so sum 0 carry 1 which is propagated to the next full adder over here so 1 plus 0 plus 1 so what what would be now there c in we got 1 now a1 b1 would be 0 1 and we would be getting the corresponding output to be sum 0 and carry 1 so sum 0 carry 1 which is propagated to the next full adder over here then the two bits a2 b2 so 1 1 both are 1 so a2 and b2 both are 1 and we would be getting the output to be 1 1 so sum 1 carry 1 again this carry is propagated to the next full adder over here so we would be getting 1 plus 1 plus 0 so a3 is 1 b3 is 0 so we would be performing the sum we would be getting sum s0 so s3 is 0 and the carry generated that is c4 is so this is how 4 bit binary full adder works so it can be designed for n bits also so this is a 4 bit binary adder